Hey everyone and welcome back to another mobile game tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be using AdMob again, but this time we're going to be adding in full screen ads. So if you're in the middle of playing a game and maybe you beat a level or you um, clicked a certain button, sometimes you'll get full screen ads for free games and that's what we're going to be adding in today. So we're just going to be back on the AdMob website where we created our last uh, banner ad. And instead of banner, we're going to be adding a full page ad. Just select the middle one. And we'll just name this full page ad. And we'll create that ad unit. And then this is going to be our reference for this ad unit. So we're just going to click done. Um, if you need to go back, you can just click that and get the numbers again. So we'll copy that. And we're going to go jump into Unity and set this up. So now that we're back in Unity, we actually just want to jump back into our AdMob code that we created in the previous uh, banner tutorial for AdMob. So we'll just open up our code and bring up AdMob. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually create our interstitial ad just by labeling it as so. And this is what we're going to be using to actually reference. So when we actually grab the, the ad from the AdMob uh, setup that we have with our custom code, it will place the ad in there, already preloaded and ready to display. So this is what we're going to be using to keep track of that. And what we're going to be doing in the start is we're going to be requesting it at the beginning. So in order to get the ads to display, you have to request them through the AdMob service and then they'll um, bring back the ad that is going to display whenever you want it to display for the player. So um, when we're first requesting it, we want to go down here and I just set it up right down here just as requested interstitial. And so what we're going to be doing, so with that code on the AdMob website for the actual uh, full screen ad, you're gonna wanna plug in that into there just like what we did with the banner ads previously. Um, but yeah. And so from here, we actually want to say that we want to create a new ad and I'll go over this code in a second. We're not going to worry about that. But after we request, we just want to um, build the ad and load the ad. And so it's just going to sit there preloaded until we actually request to show the ad. And now once you actually request it, it might take a few seconds to load initially, but it should load. Um, so on this step, this is something that AdMob also has built in. Um, we have to actually set this up so that... Uh, when our ad closes, it requests a, a brand new ad. So if you didn't have this code, if you didn't include this code or this code, when you close the ad itself, when you click out of it, it will not be requesting a new ad. And then when you press on the button again to try getting an ad, nothing's going to display. So some people run into that issue where they're trying to set up this system and there's only one ad displaying and after they close it, they can't get any more ads. So you have to call the ad closed, which just makes sure that the ad was closed by the player and that we want to request a new ad to display that's not the original old ad that we already showed them. So to test this out, we're going to be just creating a basic GUI button, just the legacy one. And whenever we press it, we want to show interstitial ad. So what this will do is actually check if the ad is loaded and if the ad is actually loaded, then we want to show the ad. So a lot of these functions are what's just built into AdMob when you import everything. And this is what we're referencing for all that. So this should be all we need. So we're going to go jump onto my phone real quick and I'll show you guys how it works. All right, so now that we're back in our game, you can see that we have the little button up there at the near the top of the screen. That is going to be our test button for actually displaying the ad. So now that we have the, so we have both the banner ad. Right now I'm using a smart banner that actually fits to the bottom of the screen. And then if I click this button here, it will show a full screen ad. And some of them are different in the ways that you exit out of them. Most of them are just at the top. And I should say that on the actual AdMob website, you can change the different types of ads that can display. 
So if you just want to show like text ads or just video ads and stuff, you can customize that on their website, wherever you set up this uh, ad, either for your ad banner or interstitial ad, you can customize all that in there. So if we go and we just wait a few seconds and we click it again, you can see that it's displaying a brand new ad. So if we would have added the that closed function that uh, tells the app like that we actually closed the ad, it wouldn't have requested anything and it wouldn't have shown anything new. So it's a basic way of setting up that kind of ad. So the next ad system we're gonna go into is the reward system. So actually having your user watch an ad, maybe a video ad, and then after it exits, we can actually reward the player with some kind of coins or tokens or whatever you guys want to give to your player. So yeah, that just covers it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.